presenting the very special MTV Free Your Mind Award. Please welcome on stage the one, the only, Mick Jagger. Hey. Hi there. Someone said the Irish are a fair people. They never speak well of each other, so maybe that's why the pleasant task has fallen to me. I want to introduce you to a very multi-talented pop star. He's a poet, he's a philosopher, and last night I think I saw him walking on water. A man inspired by such diverse heroes as Mahatma Gandhi and Frank Sinatra. He decided to eradicate third world debt And he did this by rabbiting on to Tony Blair, Bill Clinton, and thanks to a backstage pass from Bob Geldof, he swapped hats with the Pope. Like many gifted artists, he's a contradictory mixture, infuriating and endearing, passionate, full of blarney and bullshit. He still lives in Dublin. He walks, he walks the streets and drinks in his bars, especially the ones that he owns. His efforts on behalf of the poor have now tarred him with the brush of virtual sainthood. Anyway, take a look for yourselves. When you're 16, you think you can take on the world. And sometimes you're right. Bono's public crusade for good causes spans 15 years, beginning with U2's involvement in Live Aid in 1985. However, it was in the songwriting where his social conscience was best expressed. Pride from 1984 was dedicated to Martin Luther King. Bono has long been associated with Greenpeace. In 1992, the band turned up at the Sellafield nuclear plant to protest against its expansion. This is unique in that it really is a chance to have some kind of real impact. Bono and U2 appeared at an all-star concert in Hamburg, marking the 60th anniversary of the rise to power of the Nazi party in Germany. Dieser Song is for das immer noch geteilte Deutschland. There's nothing funny about you know, the rise of fascism, but I think there's something absurd about it. We've got to laugh at them, you know. From Europe to America, where in 1992, Bono used the Zoo TV tour to make fun of then-president George Bush and to become a friend of Bill. We will, we will rock you. Hello, is that the uh, is that the White House? Yes, may I help you? Hi there, look, uh, you, you may know, I, I call in a lot and uh, I, I'm always asking to speak to the president. And our next caller is named Bill, he's from Little Rock, Arkansas. Bill, what's your, what's your last name? Clinton. Bill Clinton? Should we call you Governor or Bill? No, you call me Bill. All right, uh, and you can call me Betty. Uh, <laughs> Last week found you two in a live Zoo TV satellite hookup with the besieged city of Sarajevo. My name is Elma and I'm Muslim, only by name. I'm not religious. We have no answers for you and we feel rather ridiculous tonight being in a rock and roll band. After the war in Bosnia had ended, Bono returned in 1997 with the band for the gig of a lifetime. We thought we'd play, you know, just a small scratch gig as a benefit concert, but they didn't want a benefit concert. They wanted Pop Mart, they wanted the 40-foot lemon. I think they wanted, more than anything, a return to normalcy. That's what these people want, it's what they deserve. You two gave a surprise performance on Tuesday in Belfast, Northern Ireland. And it's great to be in Belfast in a week where history is being made. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. 
The latest and biggest cause that Bonner has championed is Jubilee 2000, the campaign to rid the third world of its debt. It's taken him around the world meeting leading political figures. I'll never forget what happened in Costco this year. We're talking about the rebuilding of 52 of the poorest countries on earth. And that's what I'd like 99 to be remembered for. And seeking his blessing for Jubilee 2000's ambitions, Bono recently met the Pope. You are a great showman as well as a great holy man. Mm. That is for you. And also my glasses. I get to you. <laughs> 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 And now, here's a special message from UN Secretary General, Kofi Annan. I'm delighted to pay tribute to Bono on winning the Free Your Mind Award. Bono, as an artist, activist, and advocate for the poor, you have made a real difference. You have crossed boundaries and broken taboos. You have made people listen. You have made people care. And you have taught us that whether we are poor or prosperous, we have only one world to share. You have taught young people that they do have the power to change the world. And you have reminded world leaders that working for a better world is their first duty. Above all, you have taught us never to forget the poor. Congratulations, my friend, and keep up the fight. There are many more minds to free. It's the devil giving God an award, is it? <laughs> Thank you to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, it's just going to make me worse, you know. It's just going to make me worse. You think I'm bad now, all of this. It's just going to make me worse. Thank you. You've given me a platform and... And I, I, I want to use it to tell you something that, uh, or tell the world something I'm not sure they know, which is uh, when I'm driving in my car and a man comes on the radio and he's telling me more and more about some useless information supposed to drive my imagination, I can get some satisfaction. <laughs> I'm getting some satisfaction. I'm here with my people. <laughs> I'm here with my brethren and the funky people. This city, Dublin City, funky people. Um, so thank you to Adam, Larry, Edge for letting me be in their band. Paul. Thank you to Mark Moreau who's here who ruined my life by introducing me to Anne Pelifer and Jubilee 2000. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for putting up with me.